smell coming in. This thing is an absolute monster. So much so that we actually had to put steel plates down. So when we had the Barmia come in, I was like 80 something thousand pounds. We actually used a crane, built a platform and set it down. But this one's 70,000 pounds. So we're using steel plates, but it's still pretty sketchy. So at 70,000 pounds, those front tires right there without the plates literally can just sink into the concrete. It's crazy. Yeah, so when you look at this door, this is a 14-foot door right here. At the beginning, when we were building out the building and, and knowing the vision that we had, I looked at the door at 12 feet, which was already cut in. They had already put the door on, and I made a decision that right now, while we're actually building it all out, we're going to go ahead and just pay the money and build it out to 14 feet. Now, a lot of people, they a lot of the standard doors are 12. Some, some doors are 10. That's small. The standard is 12. And most machine builders understand that the standard is 12. So they'll actually build their machines and the bases and the sheet metal. And they'll make sure they keep it inside that 12-foot door so they can actually bring it through. But when it comes to the bigger ones, the next stage up would be a 14-foot door. And these are standards that you can easily get the roll-up doors and stuff. 13 feet, not so much. But a 14-foot door is a standard. And a lot of these companies right here, when they go super big on monster machines, like you, you have a machine that's like, you know, six, sometimes 60 feet long. They'll keep the bases in pieces that can fit through a 14-foot door. So it's important to understand when you're building out a facility, if you know that you're gonna go big, then make sure that you have the proper door. Otherwise, you will not get machines in that building. Even these guys, they're like, careful, don't get underneath this because he, he's sitting out over here. You know, they're riggers, this is what they do, but I don't, I don't like that because, you know, at any time, this machine could actually move down and crush these guys, and that is a huge safety hazard right there. Quick shout out to my Kayser compressor. Look at all these machines. Look at all the machines. Look at the piping, how we loop the piping. These two compressors right here off of that one tank basically runs this entire shop. You, know, you can have all the crazy machines in the world, but if you don't have a great compressor, and Kayser is the absolute greatest compressor that I've ever seen. All legit shops have a yellow Kayser. Oh man, we're inside my shop right here and I'm about to show you something that is truly, truly crazy. Oh, it is so exciting. Wait till you see this. Park it right here. Oh man. So good. Now watch, watch this. Oh, you want to check this out? This is going to be, I'm going to show you something that is so crazy. Now this is the tree mill, the VS 1614. But now watch this. Check this out. Oh, we get inside. Oh man. Oh, a nice HSK 100 spindle right there. Monster beast. And, uh, oh, check this out. Oh man. Check out this table. It's the biggest five axis trunnion that we've ever had. And you know what is crazy? You know what is super, super crazy? This table can hold 5,500 pounds. So that means you can basically put my Aston Martin DBX on that table, flip it up on B, flip it in C, and it will actually hold all the weight of my car on that table, and that is crazy. You wanna see something else that's crazy? Check this out. Usually when you see spindles like this coming down, you actually have linear guides only on the back, so you have two on the back. This one actually has on all four sides. So this spindle right here is 12,000 RPMs, 53 horsepower crazy rigidity they also have a 14k spindle and you can go to the hsk 63 with a 24,000 k spindle for just machining crazy molds all of that what was truly amazing also is that you saw us getting it through the door that was only a couple days ago so they actually came in they set up the machine you know there's a five axis with a gantry style for the spindle they set up the machine super fast and then they actually ran a nice surfacing program just on a three axis, surfacing perfect. And then they did something that was really cool. They did a kinematics test. 
and the kinematics test was better than I've ever seen before. They basically had a half sphere and they made it into pizza slices. So if you looked at how we do our kinematics on a five axis, we'll actually machine four sides and then we'll bring everything in. Where on this one, they actually took it one step further. They actually did half of a sphere, pizza slices. Each one they, they programmed and made them perfect. And then as they went over pizza slice to pizza slice to pizza slice, they basically machined each one in different programs. And then they measured each one to see intense. And then they made the measurement corrections for the kinematics by doing exactly that. And then they actually had a crazy spiral that from the top all the way down this sphere, all the way down, and the machine checked up perfect. So now when you run these big die molds, when you run these big parts, you can ensure that everything is absolutely perfect. 70,000 pounds. I just thought it'd be cool to bring the car because the car is 4,900 pounds, DBX 707. And then you can actually put it on that table right there and that table holds 5,500 pounds. So it's cool to think this entire car can go onto that table. You can flip it around, invert it, all of it with that weight and it handles it no problem. Boom. Another thing is when you look at this trunnion, when it's down, it basically flips up at 130 degrees and then flips the other way. So plus or minus 130 degrees on this table right here. Now, although it can hold the weight from my car on this table, when you look at actually recommended, the biggest size part that you'd be machining is about 55 inches in diameter and about 35 inches tall. And that's the type of part that you would fit right here. Now you wanna hear something that's even crazier? This is Tree Mill's smallest five axis machine. So from here, it goes, it goes into outer space. They got, they got crazy machines. Like they're like buildings. You can live in these machines. Absolutely incredible company from the Czech Republic making crazy, rigid five axis machines. We got it right here in Texas. We're doing education on this machine right here. I want to give you guys a quick shout out. Boom Bassic is almost here. November 12th, 13th, and 14th is going to be absolutely insane. You can see all of the technology, all of the machines that we're actually bringing in here. It's absolutely insane. We're going to be running parts. We're going to be teaching you on different applications, different materials, different tooling. And we're going to give you an experience that you've never had before. So come down to Texas, come hang out with family. Let us partner with you to help take your company, your career to greatness. Boombastic 2025 going off. And if you go down in the description, you'll see a couple links. One is for Tree Mill. You can learn more about this awesome machine right here, the platform and all the different sizes, etc. And you can get tickets to our Boombastic show. Boom. Love you guys. Hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the future video. Boom.